let us make connections between connections. Uh, so uh, these two notions uh, obviously are very closely related, as the uh, name suggests. So in fact, we can even provide a dictionary. Uh, so on the one hand, we have vector bundles. On the other hand, we have principal bundles. Now, so uh, as we have discussed already, if I have a vector bundle, I can construct a principal bundle, so let, let it give a name, so E, I can construct a principal bundle of frames of E, and in the other direction, if I have a principal uh, G bundle P, I can construct an associated bundle P times G rho, say, RK, this is E, so this gives way, uh, ways to go back and forth between principal and vector bundles. But uh, let us uh, perhaps go a little further. So if you have a section S, so this is a section, what does this correspond on the right-hand side? So it turns out that uh, this corresponds to an equivariant map from P into uh, a representation, say, RK, and this is required to be G equivariant. And so the, the correspondence is very explicit, uh, right? So if, if uh, you have uh, an, a G equivariant map as hat, then you can define as hat of the class, say, Px, uh, just to be, uh, so uh, you can define S of uh, Px to be S hat of P. Well, if you wish, the class of this guy. <coughs> now, if you have a connection, nabla, on a vector bundle, this gives us a connection on the principal bundle. So let me denote this by uh, A in omega 1 P G. Uh, in the standard way, so uh, something that I have uh, already mentioned, if you have a uh, local trivialization of your vector bundle, a connection becomes a one form with values in the Lie algebra, and this is exactly what you have. But if you look at this globally, what you get is a one form on the total space of P rather than just a bunch of local uh, one forms. And as uh, we discuss here, we have the gauge group uh, of a vector bundle. And we have the corresponding notion uh, of the gauge group on the right-hand side. So what is that? Uh, G of P is just a uh, set, uh, if you wish, of bundle automorphisms. Uh, these are the maps from pi to, uh, from P to P, such that phi uh, P times G is uh, phi phi times G. Right, but in other words, uh, what we see from here is that the value of phi uh, at the point P must be in the same uh, orbit uh, of the Lie group action. So that is, I can represent any map phi uh, as a map psi from P 
to G, and the condition is that uh, psi of P times G is psi of P G G inverse. Okay. Now, uh, since we have uh, we have here also discussed the notion of the curvature, so for connection nabla, I have the curvature f nabla, which was defined as a composition uh, you remember of the differentials the nabla, and you have a corresponding notion of the curvature here uh, for a connection a. So now f a becomes g a plus one half a wedge a. Where here, the brackets together with wedge means simultaneous brackets in the Lie algebra and taking the wedge product uh, in the uh, space of one forms. And so what you have is <coughs> Uh, that uh, of course these uh, notions are uh, related. So uh, you know uh, if uh, if you have uh, a connection nabla which induces you a connection uh, a on the principal bundle, you take its curvature, and this is more or less the same as the curvature of this uh, connection f nabla. All right. Now the uh, most important property uh, of the curvature is the so-called Pianchi identity. So the theorem is that uh, if you take the nabla and apply this to the curvature, so if the curvature is a two form, if you apply the nabla to this, you, you will get a three form on a manifold uh, with values in the endomorphism bundle. This turns out to be zero. Or if you think of uh, the connection uh, in terms of the principal bundle or uh, locally, uh, this is the same as saying that D uh, of F A equals uh, A wedge. F A up to a sign. So here is a minus sign. Okay, maybe uh, let me give you uh, one example of that. Here is an example. Uh, so let me assume that P over M is a principle U1 bundle. And now, uh, so a particular feature is that U1 is an abelian Lie group, right? So what we have is uh, the following. So the gauge group of P, as we have discussed earlier, is just a set of maps uh, psi from P to U1 uh, such that, uh, in this case, G P times G is just Psi of P. Right, in other words, uh, Psi is an invariant uh, map with respect to the U1 action. That is, this is just the same as the space of maps from the base manifold into U1. Now, if you have a connection A on P, uh, the uh, gauge equivalent uh, connection to that, so uh, let us pick also 
a gauge transformation. So this is a smooth map, right? So it's just an element in this space. So then the corresponding uh, one form of G is A plus G minus one dG. Let us try to compute the curvature of this uh, connection. So F A G uh, is, uh, because our uh, Lie uh, algebra is abelian, uh, this term over here uh, is trivial, so we, ha we have just the differential of A, and this is dA plus d of g inverse dG. But uh, this is closed, so this vanishes, and we have FA. In other words, yes? Uh, you do, yeah. Uh, so what I mean is that they cover, uh, indeed, uh, the identity map here on the base manifold M. <coughs> okay, so uh, in other words, uh, what we see is that the, uh, in the abelian case, the character actually uh, is independent of the uh, gauge transformation. Okay, uh, are there any questions to that? All right, then uh, let us uh, move a little bit. So uh, let me consider now uh, elements of the uh, chern wild theory. So first, uh, we consider uh, the notion of an uh, invariant polynomial. So what we have is uh, we take a map uh, P from the Lie algebra G into, uh, say, uh, R or C. So let me take uh, to the complex numbers. And uh, I say that P is an invariant, or maybe G invariant polynomial uh, if the following holds. So uh, P is G invariant as a map, that is P uh, at G uh, psi is P Psi, right, for any G in G and for any Xi in the Lie algebra of G. Um, and uh, P is a polynomial, so P is polynomial, uh, meaning that, uh, you know, if you choose, uh, say, a basis Xi1 up to Xi n, so a basis for G, then P of uh, X1 Psi1 plus Xn Psi n is a polynomial in X1 Xn. And <coughs> sometimes uh, it will be convenient uh, to work with homogeneous polynomials, which just means, so uh, P is homogeneous of degree, say, D, if P of lambda Xi is lambda to the power D P of Xi. So, uh, here are some examples. So, uh, 
So we will take uh, here as an example, we take G to be UK, uh, and uh, so the corresponding D algebra is UK, and we could take, say, P of Xi to be a trace of Xi to the power D. And this is obviously a homogeneous polynomial of degree D. Now, more importantly, we can take, so, uh, P of Xi to be the determinant of lambda 1 plus uh, I over 2 pi Xi. And so <coughs> now we have a parameter lambda here. So if we uh, expand this in lambda, you will get an expression like lambda to the power K plus C1 of Xi lambda to the power k minus 1 plus and so on ck of xi. Now these are homogeneous, so each ck is a homogeneous polynomial of degree j. Now, so uh, we can compute easily certain terms, right? If you put uh, if you put lambda equals zero, what we get is uh, ck of xi is a determinant of xi essentially. So, ck of xi is and for instance, c1 of xi is just pi over 2 pi trace of xi. All right. Now, uh, if you have a principal bundle together with a connection, uh, so P, so M is a principal bundle. Uh, if you pick a connection nabla on P, we have the curvature of nabla, right? This is now a two form. You can think of this at least as a two form on the total space of G with values in the Lie algebra G. <coughs> and we can apply P to uh, F nabla. And this will uh, give us some uh, form uh, on the total space of P with values uh, say in complex numbers. But now it's easy to check that this form is actually uh, G invariant and basic. So basic here means that whenever you take, uh, you know, uh, a, a vertical, so uh, V is a vertical. Uh, tangent vector uh, to the principal bundle P, is that, that is, uh, it is tangent to the fiber of the projection map. If you uh, insert this into uh, P of F nabla, you will have zero. And this implies that actually there is a unique uh, form um, maybe uh, P F nabla. So uh, I will just you know by the same symbol. But what I'm uh, saying is that this is a form essentially on the base manifold M whose values in C. Uh, so let me. Uh, 
temporarily denote this with twiddle uh, such that the pullback of this form f nabla twiddle is pi of f nabla. So I will drop the symbol uh, twiddle uh, in the sequel. And now the Bianchi identity tells us actually that this form, uh, whatever way you think, is of this form on the uh, total space of the principal bundle or the, the form on the base is closed. So D of B uh, F Nampla twiddle is zero. In other words, this means that we can uh, consider the, the Ramco homology class of P F nabla twiddle. So this is in H the Ram M C. And this is well defined and independent of the choice of connection now. In other words, what we have got is an invariant of a vector bundle uh, or a principal bundle itself. Now here is uh, an example which will be of uh, importance to us. Uh, so uh, if you have uh, a U1, uh, a UK bundle, as we uh, have had over there, then CJ of P, so you know, P is a UK bundle, then CJ of P, so this is now an element in the two J's, the Ramco homology group uh, of M whose values in C, so this is called the uh, Chase Charon class of P. Um, maybe uh, let me just uh, finish by saying that uh, for the uh, classes, uh, for the polynomial CK that we have constructed here, they have the property that uh, if you take CJ bar, this is CJ. So in fact, they are real polynomials. And this means that we have constructed classes in the real cohomology group rather than the complex one. Okay, let me stop here and we will continue our discussion uh, today in the afternoon. Thank you.